So, you guys pretty much know how to do this already. It's just saying if you have a situation where you have a large polynomial and you know the value you're going to substitute in, all you have to do is just plug that number in, right? So I took this equation and I just, every time I saw an x, I made a set of parentheses so I could substitute in the two. This is something you already know how to do. It's called direct substitution. You just ask you, what's the value when x is 2? Well, you substitute 2 in for x and solve. So I'd write a 2 here. I'd write a 2 here. I'd write a 2 here. Then you deal with each term individually. This is 2 times 2 to the 4th power. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 16. Plus 4 times 2 to the 3rd power. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Minus 2 times 2 plus 10. Now I'm going to do all my multiplication. I'm just doing this in order of, uh, you know, PEMDAS, right? First I did my parentheses and exponents. Now I'm going to do my multiplications. I got 32. 4 times 8, also 32. Negative 2 times 2 is minus 4 plus 10. And if you look, 32 plus 32, now I'm going to do my addition and subtraction. That's 64. Minus 4 is 60. Plus 10 equals 70. And that's the traditional way we do this problem. Now, I'm going to show you this synthetic trick. That's like really, unless you take a long time to look at it and realize how it's working, it just... It seems like magic. It's like stupid cool that it works. And you're like, what? But it just works. All right, so here's what we're going to do this time. See all the coefficients? We have to be careful. We'll start with the x to the fourth. What's the coefficient of x to the fourth? The number before x to the fourth. Two. What's the coefficient of the x to the third? Four, good. What's the coefficient of x squared? Right? So if there isn't one, what's the coefficient? Zero. Everybody follow me? There is no x squared term. So you have to put a zero to represent the x squareds. What's our coefficient on x? Negative two. And then our constant is ten. Alright, so step one, you just write all the coefficients. Step two. Make a little box here and look up and say, what is it I want to substitute in? I want to substitute in the value 2. Put 2 in the box. And then from here on out, all you got to do is keep multiplying and adding. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 2. We're going to drop it all the way down. I'm going to write a 2 here. Now I'm going to multiply. What's 2 times 2? 4. Four. And put that there. Now I'm going to add. What's 4 plus 4? 8. Now I'm going to multiply. 2 times 8? 16. Now I'm going to add. 0 plus 16? 16. Now I'm going to multiply. 2 times 16? 32. Now I'm going to add. Negative 2 plus 32? 30. Now I'm going to multiply 2 times 30, 60. Finally, I'm going to add one last time. What? No, this is just witchcraft that gets you the same answer. Tyler. Because there wasn't uh, an x squared term, so essentially it's, it's plus 0 x squareds right there because you have to represent every term. Is that crazy or what? You like that? Yeah, which one's more work, though, Adam? Yeah, right? It saves you so much time.